Right, I'm Del Stone with Woe, the Working Class and Houses Organizing Alliance. So what we are seeing in Greensboro recently is just the latest and the most local development of a trend that is evident across the state and this country. We see bigots trying to divide the working class and police people's individual identities, passing laws and enacting policies that directly attack marginalized groups. They are specifically targeting people of color and LGBTQ people, and most specifically, trans people. That Dustin Jones, a city employee, was able to engage in a years-long pattern of hateful public posts against marginalized people, in addition to a long list of alleged misbehaviors that directly endangered others, speaks to the unacceptable tolerance that city officials have for bigotry. This is already evident in the behavior officials tolerate from police and by extension from themselves. Firing Jones was a necessary step, but the city manager does not deserve a pat on the back for doing the bare minimum. Jones was already allowed to engage in years of misconduct, including actions violating the privacy and trust of residents he was supposed to protect, posting images of houses online. He has been allowed to amass a campaign of support, raising thousands of dollars and inflaming other reactionaries to his victimization, which is blatantly false. Jones has plenty of other income opportunities on the side, by the way, and he doesn't need anyone's sympathy, much less their support. He owns a dozen homes in Guilford County alone, and I'm sure his landlording is making him plenty of money. He's already lawyered up, and despite the incompetence of his attorneys who don't seem to understand basic public records law, Dustin Jones will be just fine. Can anyone say the same for the marginalized people that he has put at risk with his hateful, fear-mongering messaging online? No, they cannot because we live in a capitalist system that time and again prioritizes those with wealth, with privilege and power at the detriment of those without. This is not an issue of First Amendment rights. This is an issue of basic human rights, the right to be who we are, to love who we love. People who are endangered on account of basic aspects of their identity are and will continue to be at risk, so long as folks tiptoe around bigotry and give genocidal talking points any place in the public square.